my name is Dr. Jennifer Kong, um, or please call me Jen. I am the wife of Jonathan and the daughter-in-law of John. And I have been with Jonathan for the past 22 years. We've been married for the past 15. Um, similarly, I have known Jonathan's father, John, for the, around the same amount of time, except we haven't been married. Um, and my experience with depression is that Jonathan had a major depressive episode um, about 1999, and John had a major depressive episode, well, he's had major depressive episodes throughout his life, but the most recent was two years ago, in which at that time I was his primary caregiver. When I remember back when Jonathan had his major depressive episode, I was in the middle of my doctorate. And <laughs> there's never an easy or convenient time to go through major depression. So when he was having his major depressive episode, it did put uh, a new lens, if you will, as to what my career and my plans for the future can be because now uh, we have to recognize that his mental illness can possibly affect long-term plans, as any health illness would. So uh, during the actual major depressive episode, you just kind of just power through it. You just power through what you can. And having everyone in my work and learning place um, understand what I'm going through, and they were very accommodating. When my father-in-law had a major depressive episode two years ago, um, that was something I didn't actually share with my workplace because I didn't feel that my workplace needed to know that I was caring for a father-in-law. Um, and I was still able to do all my duties, but again, the word exhaustion comes into play again. And I, I think the reason why I didn't tell my workplace is because I knew I had other support at home home, like John would support, Jonathan would support John. Um, so I knew that I wouldn't feel as tired or exhausted or on my own um, supporting as I did when my husband Jonathan was depressed. The best strategy was to always constantly remind myself that he isn't doing this on purpose, that he had an actual biological illness. So keeping that lens on helped me uh, not develop any resentment. Second thing was taking good care of myself. So I had to make sure that I did um, my own personal moments to reflect. Uh, had a strong support group if I could access it and just be patient. Um, I also was very fortunate in that Jonathan's family had a great history with mental illness before. So I always had their help and experience to help support me. Um, and yeah, just an understanding workplace as well.